I consider my purpose here twofold. The first being to promote the bilateral relationship between Liberia and the Federal Republic of Germany and the countries I represent. And secondly, to promote Liberia as a country to invest in. I consider that my main purpose here. That is why I've been holding discussions with um, potential investors to encourage them to do business in Liberia. I know you are not potential investors, but I'm sure you can take the message back home. So I'd like to say a few words about that to you. I've been telling investors that even though we had a long civil war, but we are recovering. And there are opportunities in Liberia. We have opportunities in the agriculture sector, in the energy sector, mining sector, manufacturing and services. Notwithstanding those opportunities, we also have challenges. As I said, we had a long civil war. So of course, being foolish to go to war, we destroy everything. So lack of infrastructure, we don't have, we, we have roads that we need to build. We have posts that we need to rehabilitate. And there's no energy. So those challenges are there. But then I also tell investors that even though there are challenges, they should look at them as opportunities. And the challenges um, may be great, but if you invest in those areas that are destroyed, I can guarantee anybody that your investment will reap bountiful uh, returns. However, since 2006, we've been recovering, and we've done a lot of the rules in the capital. We have gone to some of the provinces. We rehabilitating the ports. We've uh, given up some of the uh, contracts to international uh, companies. We have um, reconstructed some of the government buildings. And as a Liberian, I tell people, before 2006, when we were at war, I used to be ashamed to be a Liberian, not because of being a Liberian, but because of being foolish to go to war and destroy your country. So as the minister said, and to all the young people here, please don't ever do that to your country. Don't ever do that. You may think it's good because you have a message to give. You can do that without having to go to war and destroy your country. To destroy is easy, but the rebuild, I can assure you, is very, very difficult. So that's my message to you this morning. And I want to encourage you to be good citizens. Talk, talk is good than war, war. As I said, since 2006, with um, the election of Madam Ellen Johnson Salif, we have recovered. And anybody who has been to Liberia since that, that time and has gone back, you will see that the country has really moved forward. Economically, we have done better. We are able to um, come from a indebted country to a country that is free from debt. There were a lot of um, conditions set by the IMF and the World Bank before reaching to that stage. And we are proud to see that we accomplished all of them. So that is a major achievement for Liberia. <laughs> Capacity. As you know, we're in war for almost 20 years. And people who agitated war, they will say, we have a message to give. But when you are fighting, there's no way to go to school. So we had a lot of young people who lost out on the chance to go to school. There were some of those who wanted to go to school, but the opportunity wasn't there. And there were those who didn't want to go to school, wanted to cause confusion. But in the end, both of the groups lost out. And that's a major problem we have in Liberia nowadays. So some of them are too old to start from elementary, so the government is trying to institute a technical training for those people. And the challenge is great. Um, we are a small population. The educational level is not great. And so that is a major challenge which the government is trying to tackle. I will end here and not take up your time. But I would like to emphasize my advice to you people. War is not good. Please, war is not good. 
the rich, the poor, the middle, the small, the big, the old, everybody suffers. Today you are living in your comfortable homes. Tomorrow you will run and leave everything behind because you want to save your life. So please, I'd like for you to preach the message of peace. With that, I'd like to end here and thank you for your time. <laughs>